It is time now to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Los Angeles Times says a convicted killer described as Charles Manson's right-hand man has been approved for parole. Bruce Davis was not there when the Manson family was murdered and Sharon, Kate, Sharon Tate died, but he was convicted of killing two men at the ranch where Manson and his followers lived. Governor Jerry Brown will decide if Davis will be released. The Washington Post reports on new Secret Service policies. Excessive drinking has been prohibited, so has sharing work-related information on social media. Five months ago, more than a dozen Secret Service employees were accused of drunken partying in Colombia before a presidential visit. USA Today says about 10% of all workers now work from home. Census figures show an extra 4.2 million workers at telecommuting at least one day a week. People who worked only at home earned more than people who worked outside the home. The Wall Street Journal has a Halloween horror story. Starbucks stores have been running out of the pumpkin sauce for their very popular pumpkin spice latte. Baristas report that customers get upset when their store runs out. Starbucks blames the shortages on infrequent deliveries at some locations.